Hi, I'm Cindy Litchfield, and this is the Cloud Dome. The Cloud Dome is used for photographing objects 10 inches and smaller. The reason I came up with a Cloud Dome is because I was having such difficulty taking pictures of jewelry and highly shiny objects. I was getting hot spots and glares, and the color was off and the images were blurry. And this made me realize I had two problems to solve. First, I need to evenly diffuse the light, and the second was to stabilize the camera. So with the help of my father, who is a meteorologist and knows a lot about the diffusion of light from clouds, we eventually came up with what you see here, the Cloud Dome. The Cloud Dome is made from high-impact, non-yellowing acrylic. The dome is shaped like a parabolic curve, so the light gets trapped and bounces inside the dome, creating even lighting. Notice the lip around the base of the dome, which is used to stabilize the extension collars. I also came up with a bracket to fit the top of the dome. This bracket will stabilize your camera and act like a tripod. You'll notice that there are slots in the back of the bracket and on the base. This is a universal bracket which is good for any small to medium sized camera that has a tripod screw. For those of you who use the larger digital SLR cameras, you will need the Pro-L bracket and a larger base plate to accommodate the heavier weight of the camera. Here's a quick overview of how to use the Cloud Dome. First of all, you're going to set up the bracket to fit the camera that you're using. And then on your camera, you're going to adjust four settings on the camera. First of all, you can put it in the highest resolution. You're going to put it in macro mode, turn off the flash, and adjust your white balance settings. Screw the camera on using the tripod thumb screw. Now we're ready to take pictures. The first thing you're going to do is turn on your camera and then make sure that the flash is off and the camera is still in macro mode. I'm going to take a picture of this little frog pin. And I placed it on a frosted riser so it's closer to the camera inside the dome and then placed it on a neutral background. So I'm placing the dome over the little frog, centering it, and if I want to get in into a sharper focus, I'm just going to press the shutter button down halfway. And then when you're ready, just take the picture. You may need to crop your photograph in your imaging program, but other than that, you should not need to do any additional editing. Taking a picture with a cloud dome is as easy as that. 